So this is just Amber really hard in this video concocting and reinforcing a narrative and then also setting up down the road other narratives like the whole Becky thing is going to become a thing it's coming up it's eventually going to happen she's an idiot if she doesn't think that I think she's trying to do some damage control early so that when it does happen she can step in and in her mind nip it in the bud it's not going to happen that way for her but Amber is also the queen of just ignoring shit if it doesn't work for her Hey, hi, hello there. Welcome to another episode of An Anthropologist Watches Amber Lynn Read Dark Anthropology Edition. I'm going to spend a little bit more time on this one because I promised you guys a live yesterday and uh, serendipity in in intervened and I was not un I was not able to do that. But uh, I did have a good time, so thank you all for asking. And no, I did not buy the two-year-old uh, inspirational quote calendar, page-a-day calendar. Um because I wasn't looking for one. But anyway, um, let's see. I want to definitely look at, obviously I've already watched this one at this point, and yes, I'm still fidgeting, but I, I want to look at this one a little bit deeper than normal. I'll probably still be snarky. Uh, the majority of you seem to enjoy it. So there's that, but I do want to put my anthropology hat on a few times, especially when she gets to the part where she's talking about Becky, my ex. Which X, girl? You got like five of them now, don't you? Yeah. Haha. -ha. I can do math. So, I want to talk about that. I want to talk about her weigh in a little bit. I uh, definitely want to talk about her opinions on sending adult content to each other because, like, I cannot tell if she honestly is missing the point of that question or if she is purposefully not answering the question because uh yeah that one like caught me real hard anyway see make sure everything's okay i'm gonna speed her up my ceiling's back and you're gonna be in trouble hey nah hey nah the ceiling's back <laughs> i hope you all are as entertained by that crap as i am because uh, i'm not gonna stop anyway let's go oh before we get too far into this, let me say thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel. Uh, thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my members. I've noticed I've gotten a few more of you over the last few days, and I will get the interns roster thing updated in the next video. I'm, I apologize. Um, but I do want to get that updated. And thank you to everybody who's going to hit the thumbs up. You guys rock. And yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. So... Yeah, so we're, we're going to do some more dark anthro analysis, mainly because Amber's given it to us in this episode. I'm not going to say this is a particularly interesting episode, but it is interesting in what I need it to be, what I need it to do for me to do my thing. So let's go. Anyway. Hey guys, it Hi. is January 13th. And if you remember from my last vlog, I was not on track last night. I was on track the whole day. Okay, so if you will recall, maybe I can even find it and splice it in here, like, you know, a professional YouTuber. I did say that she went on this big thing about, oh my god, you guys, I'm so not doing well, oh my god. And I, I knew it was going to be a setup for either, um, she will not have gained weight, and so she'll be like, oh my god! Or she's not going to have gained as much weight as she was expecting to have gained. And that was just this big preamble setup because um, she just needed that drum roll, basically, kind of a thing that lead up to this, to this, uh, mainly because I think, I, I don't think she was on track, if on track is a thing. Um, Maybe she had one too many ramens. Have you guys noticed she's not been eating ramen lately? Like the prepackaged instant ramen stuff. Has she? I'm trying to think real fast. I don't think I've seen her eat one of those in a while. That doesn't mean she's not eating them. But we haven't seen her purchase them as far as I can recall recently. And we haven't seen them seen her eat them either. But girls eating like 4,000 calories a day. I, I don't know how you do that. I'm not saying you can't as a human being, you cannot consume that many calories. I'm saying like, I just got done with breakfast and I had two pieces of sheet pancake and it probably came to like 
two and a half real pancakes and I'm stuffed. Like, I don't know what the calories were on that. But my point is, is like, I'd have to eat three to four times that much to get near the calories she's eating. And I'm, I'm slightly uncomfortably full. Like, I can't imagine having that sensation all day long. I'm also really, really rambling. So let's get to this weigh-in. And then I just, I don't know, I became weak. So I have a feeling I am going to be gaining weight today, which is unfortunate. But let's step on the scale and find out. Hello, it's uh, ready. Is it then? Okay, stepping on. 510.0 pounds. 510.0. Oh my god, I did not gain as much as I thought I was going to. So that is a big relief. The guilt I feel from being off track, though, definitely motivates me to stay on track today. I. I call bullshit. All right. Whoops. Oh no. It's ruined. Throw it away. Start it all over with. It's trash. It's garbage. It's gone. Push. Sorry. That bothers me, but we're gonna ignore it. Bothers me too. Five ten point zero. How how funny would it be? I know she doesn't because I've already seen this, but how funny would it be if like she starts telling us, "You guys, I'm at like negative five hundred and ten pounds." And yesterday was the off track day. Y'all, it is freezing. It's like literally 10 degrees outside. It's called winter. It happens. I just came back in with walking twink. Are you still running your faucets? I'm not saying that I have not lived someplace where I've had to run the faucets. I do know why we do that. I grew up in the Midwest. I get it. Um, it's just, are you, do you understand why you need to run your faucets? Okay. And I swear, my fingers are numb. Now I'm about to go out. We're, me and my mom are going to hang out. We might surprise my grandma and show up there. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. Not looking forward to that. There was an earth. She shakes her head a lot. And it's confusing because that particular... She shakes her head a lot. And it confuses me because that's usually a body language thing. Like, you will shake or nod your head depending on if you subconsciously agree or disagree with something. Clearly, it's not an... Like... 100% guaranteed, but nothing about body languages. You have to have a baseline, clearly. Um, if you didn't know that, now you do. But with her, she's just always shaking her head. She just shakes her head and shakes her head. and sh it, doesn't, it doesn't seem to matter what she's talking about. Like, she just shakes her head all the time. It's like her way of emphasizing things that are... That she's trying to convince us of. Like, we're going to go hang out with my grandmother today. Are, are, are you... I'm very confused. Are the people behind your eyes hanging out with your grandmother and you're just going to stay at home? Like, what's going on? Quake last night. Like, what is happening? It's called nature. It occurs sometimes. There's these plates. They're continental plates and they rub up against each other. And sometimes they force each other up. Sometimes they force each other down. Sometimes they do one of these numbers. It creates really cool patterns in the stratigraphy of the dirt. But in the process, it also makes all of the area around it shimmer and shake and sometimes do really awful things like, you know, take out entire villages with landslides. I'm thinking maybe you're going to be okay. That's my point. We're trying to go with this one. I'm not cut out for this type of weather. Like, I want the spring and the fall 24-7. Like, that's what I need in my life, and that's what should be here every No, you can't have the fall. The fall is mine. No. I will fight you for it single day not icicles and snow like i'm just not in it to win it okay so we're about to go into this place called big Bob. how do you win winter i know she's being i know she's just saying random shit how do you win winter like what does that look like do you become jack frost are you now elsa like how how do you win winter big box i like this place actually when i watched this the first time i was actually kind of like i wonder if we have one of those around us because I would totally shop here. Box. It's just like a bunch of Amazon stuff that was never delivered. It's a bin store. Let's go look. Why were these things not delivered? What? I want to know more than the garbage. Because this is mostly garbage. 
I want to know why these things didn't make it to their intended end destinations. Like what, what act of fate intervened so that instead of ending up wherever they were supposed to be in little Jimmy's gaming nook, why is that controller now in a bin being tossed around and forgotten by everyone? He would grab the one toy. <laughs> What's this, Amber? What is oh my god. This? I love drink with you. Coffee station. I love drink with you. There used to be a site. I don't know if you can still go to it. If it does exist, I highly recommend it. It was called like English.com and it basically made fun of this kind of stuff. Things that are like almost correct. I'm trying to figure out how that was playing out in somebody's head. What's this, Amber? <laughs> oh my god. What is that? <laughs> I'm not getting out of her. <laughs> no. Amber had that, didn't she? Hers was like pink, wasn't it? Am I insane? Amber had this exact thing, only it was like... Well, obviously it was pink. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not wrong. This was like, was it Becky era? It has to be Becky era, because that was the only time I was like watch watching. So... That'd be amazing if someone could find the clip of that for me. I am not going to go dig it up myself. No, it's too much. You need to drink your water, though. Just, okay, so I didn't get anything, but my mom got this uh, 365 Days of Words to Inspire. Yay. But it is a 2022 calendar, which is totally fine. What's today's? It says your future is bright. It's I don't care for the little saying, but the bunny rabbit thing is kind of cool. It reminds me of, like, medicine wheels and stuff. Isn't that cute? That is cute. Right, but look, cute. still, I love all these positive. You positive. look like a million bucks all day. Mama Lynn, I love you, but positive? Positive? I'm saying that from now on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, be silly, be honest, be kind. I love that. Me too. And like every single one is like art. Oh, yeah. Wait, I'm obsessed. It's adorbs. That's actually super cute. Do your best. Look I don't know who's teaching Mama Lynn weird ass slang, but they need to stop, Amber. <laughs> Look, how could you Those keep your enthusiasm? Yeah. Sorry, guys. Those are cute. I don't, I don't care what you think. I think they're cute. That's Keep cute. it up, Amber. This was 75 cents. Please forecast 100%. <laughs> Fantastic. Hell yeah. So I, I love that that's the one that sets her off. Like, of all of those quotes, of everything that she flipped through, that's the one that she just, that that tipped her scale. I saw this icon cinema, and I was like, what is that? Is that where all Amber Lynn Reed's videos are performed? Get it? Haha. <laughs> Are you liking like discount like Mecca over here? You've got like the box bin store over there over somewhere off in the, the distance here. You've got Dee Dee's discounts. You've got the discount cinema. You've got I can't read that. You've got Goodwill like. I kind of want to go to this place because I want to see what I can find. I am. I am a bin diver. That makes it be. Hey guys. Is Hi. Oh my god, I didn't know I was gonna see you twice. Should have done my hair more. The next day, January 14th. I'm sorry that I stopped vlogging yesterday. My well, you should be. Mom and I ended up going to my grandma's house, surprising her, visiting her, and then my grandma took me and my mom out to her favorite restaurant. So I was just spending quality time with them, but it is the next day. Do you think Amber paid? Or do you think Grandma Lynn paid? Do you think there was a fight over the check? I don't know. Sometimes I don't think I ever paid when my grandmother took... Or, well, okay, not my grandmother. I never paid when my grandmother took me out. But most of the time my grandmother was also taking me out with my when my grandfather was still alive. And that just was non-negotiable. Uh, I think maybe one year for Mother's Day I did pay. Yeah, I did. I took my grandmother, my aunt, and my mother out. And I paid for all three of them. But that was Mother's Day. It's expected, right? Hmm. I'm just saying old people don't like it when the younger people in their families pay for things. Hey, let's do the weigh-in. Hello. Hello. Hi. Are you ready? She's bad as I am. Hello. Thank you. 
stepping on now. Killed me, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. 509.6. Oh. I was hoping for a bigger loss because I feel like I barely ate anything yesterday. But I mean, honestly, drink more water. I don't think she's losing fat. Um, speaking of water, I don't think she's losing fat. I think she's still losing water. I think she would lose more if she were drinking more water and less like Gatorade. Nothing against Gatorade. It's just not supposed to be. It's not supposed to replace water. This is an idiocracy. It's not what it's not what your body craves all the time. So. I just I think she could be losing more just by drinking more water because her body would just water just makes your body flush things out. That's why you pee more. I know it's annoying, but that's the end of the this reality of the situation. I'm back to kind of sort of believing the weigh-ins. Somebody made a really good point in my comment section. Y'all should be used to me saying that particular phrase um, about they don't necessarily think Amber is faking her weigh-ins. They think she's weighing in incorrectly. They think that she doesn't understand that when she leans on something like the counter that we all are very aware that she uses to get onto the scale, that she's adjusting her weight by doing that. Here's my caveat with that one, because I, I could see that. I could see that. However, if she's doing it the exact same way every time, it may not be her true and honest weight, but the weight differences would be reliable maybe not accurate but reliable so there's that there's that and that's that's all the defense i'm going to give it honestly because i'm still kind of fence setting the opposite direction too i just, I just I but know. you know what i'll take it sure 509.6 and yesterday I was on track. I want to talk about her hands. Amber's 33, as she reminds us frequently. Now, my hands, I'm holding them. Especially right now with my black nails. Mine are shiny, though. My hands look very similar to Amber's hands. They're not as plump. And that's about it. But we both have that very dry skin going on and we both have a lot of well hand wrinkles your hands wrinkle as you age because they're like the most active part of your body so it, they're gonna wrinkle up you know it, it happens i'm just struck by how old her hands look i guess is my point i'm over a decade older than amber and i have worked outside for 20 years of my life I've worked with water and mud and abrasives and I've lifted weights and I've shoveled and I've had calluses and I've cut the hell out of my hands. I mean, my hands have done a lot. And on top of all of that, I've had arthritis in my hands since I was 16 and still have it. Obviously, it's not like it goes away. So I'm just really struck by how aged her hands look at the age of 33 compared to mine. Now, I don't think I have like, you know, mummy hands or anything like that. And I don't have anything against people who do. That just means you've had a very interesting life. I just, I think if my hands had looked like that when I was 33, I would have been really concerned. I have my vanities. I really do. And wrinkles are one of them. But like, I don't know, man. I just... The last few times she's shown us her writing, the, the weights down on this calendar, I've noticed just how old her hands look. Like the pictures sometimes where she has Mama Lynn reaching in and grabbing things or putting the coins in the machine for her. Mama Lynn's hands look younger than Amber's did in those videos. So I don't know. It's just one of those like... I know everybody's like, not everybody, I know people a lot of times will say things like, oh, you know, fat people have baby faces or fat people look younger because, you know, they've got all that chubbiness on them and it makes them appear younger than they are sometimes. 
I think the stress of being overweight for that length of time, I think it ages the body faster. And I think it ages it in, in this kind of a way. Like Amber has the hands of a 40 year old, uh, you know, of an active 40 year old. And we, we know the most active thing she does in a day is Legos. So I kind of wish she'd go back to the scratch art. I really liked the scratch art. <laughs> That is such a lousy heart because I was looking through the camera. I need to not do that. Oh my God. So tomorrow is week two weigh in to see how much I officially lost. So this can go, can go like any way. I could do good today and lose more weight or tonight, which is usually nighttime where I slip up and do bad. Dark time. It's dark time. Amber, quit saying it wrong. I could do really bad and gain a few pounds overnight and then not lose anything. That would suck big time. But I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that that won't happen. Okay, to be fair, though, to get back to 512, she'd have to put on three pounds overnight. I'm not saying she can't do it. I'm just saying her overall trend has been downward. So she'd have to be like, wah, party, in order to do that. Y'all, I don't know about you, but I normally do not. Never mind, I take it back. Not eat things like this. I normally always get, like, turkey burgers. But for some reason, Vidalia, probably pronouncing that wrong, onion beef patties just sounded so good. I have always said it Vidalia, but I've also heard it pronounced uh, Vidalia. So have at it. Good. And I had one last night. Absolutely amazing. And I put some shredded cheese on top and it melted and it was delicious. So I'm actually about to make one right now. Y'all, I have been Lego obsessed. Well, I am so glad that we had that brief moment in time. I finished the Polaroid. Isn't it so cute? And yes. then these pictures in here. Wait, did she have to build the pictures or did the pictures come with it? I miss my Polaroid. Do you guys understand how cool Polaroids are? And they like come out. I don't know. I'm obsessed. By the way, this is a no from me. Oh, it was so gross. Like I took one bite and I hated it. Like there's this weird layer on the outside that is casing. There's a casing on the outside because it's a dried stick of meat. Never had a Slim Jim before. Like WTF. It was not good. Oh, I got this from Lord. someone. It's just like a beef stick. I usually like a beef stick. Mahalo teriyaki? What's the difference between that and like regular? I like Jack's Links. I don't like these. These tend to, they, this particular type of whatever meat stick gives me heartburn. Uh, but Jack Link's original recipe jerky is a go-to when I'm in a pinch. I know that's shocking. I, I know because I'm not a meat girly, but some of them are good. This new. Don't like meat. So don't get that folks, but the Lego has been great. I have no more Legos left. I do have two knockoff Legos. So I just ordered a couple more Lego brand Legos off of Amazon. Um, they're not like any like huge ones or anything, but they're just like a couple that I've been wanting to do. Next day. Hello, it is January 15th. It is Monday. Hello. How are you doing today, Celine? You know, it's Martin Luther King Day. Where, what would you have done if you had been on the bus next to Rosa Parks? And Mondays are the official weigh-in of how much did I lose that week? Hello. Hi. It's ready. Okay, guys, so I'm stepping on. 507.4 pounds. 507.4. Yes, I was on track yesterday. I did really freaking good. Woo woo. Oh my God, I'm so happy with this. 507.4. Hell yeah. Seven is my favorite number besides one. I do like one. Okay because it's the loneliest number that you will ever know. Two can be as sad as one, but one is the loneliest number. Hey you guys, so I was 507.4. That is so amazing. amazing. I was on track yesterday. So this week I am down 5.2. I am so, so proud of that. And in total this year so far, which has only been 15 days, I'm down 8.4 pounds, which I'm very happy with that because my goal is to lose 100 pounds this year. And to reach that goal, I just need to lose 1.9 pounds a week. Two. You need to lose two pounds a week. 1.9 pounds. Are you effing kidding me? Are you serious? Two. You need to lose two pounds. Talk about doing the bare ass minimum. Seriously. 
that is it so i'm already like way ahead of schedule i am so proud of this way in yay okay guys so i went on to instagram i told you guys to ask me questions i figured it could be fun to do some rapid fire questions so let's get into it Favorite first off the idea of rapid fire questions is is that you don't get breaks in between the question and the answer so all of the editing already completely destroys the concept of, a of rapid fire questions there should be no editing. It should just be, you read the question, you answer the question. You read the question, you answer the question. Like, that's what rapid fire means. Not, you read the question, you paused, you thought about it a minute or two, you answered the question, you rambled a bit, you edited all that out, and then you asked yourself the next question. That's not rapid fire. Everything about living in Oklahoma so far, definitely living on my own. Mm -hmm. I love living on my own. I rules, no, I can do whatever I want. Everything is mine. When were you ever restricted to not being able to do what you wanted to do? When, okay, in recent history, we're not going to go all the way back to Crystal Era because that, in my opinion, was a different whole like life stage for Amber. She's had life stages. The whole Crystal Era was a different life stage than the, um, destiny and then into becky era those were that was definitely a different life stage as well i'm still deciding if wifey fits into that life stage or if wifey is the beginning of a new or just kind of like a transitional life stage and now we're in this single era which is definitely a different life stage for her um not to be confused with the eras that are clearly defined by who we are dating at the time. But since she moved out of the house from Crystal's and into the house with Destiny, and especially with Becky, where she clearly had the majority of the power in the, in the relationship, and even with Wifey, when were you since that point when have you been restricted in your activities or your possessions or your what have your wants your needs your desires when have those had to be restricted because you lived with someone else be real it's like my own little like haven sanctuary I like to it's always been like that Doing things on my time and i don't know just something about it. it's always been like that when have you ever been beholden to someone else's schedule even when you worked for someone else you basically did it when you wanted to look at this face but it is just so freeing and i never expected to love it this much but i really do when did you start this free from what most of the apartments you've lived in since destiny have had two bathrooms like you didn't even have to wait to go to the bathroom to the weekend so it was 2011 it was when i heard same old song i became obsessed with him there's like a few artists that i'm just like majorly obsessed with like banks Miley cyrus billy eilish the weekend and there's a few others and my most recent ex actually miley cyrus still makes music i'm not trying to be a dick i didn't know she was still making music yeah i know who billy eilish is uh the only reason i know who the weekend is is because one of the k boys covered one of their songs and I was like, oh, that's a cool song. I should go listen to the original version of it. And I was like, it's all right. I think I like the cover better because I'm that guy. Surprised me with like a poster. It was so sweet of her because she had a record player and she wanted to put some posters near it. And she put one of my favorite artists up there. She didn't really care for The weekend like I did, but she did. didn't really care for The weekend like I did. did it for me, she, she surprised me. I thought that was sweet. But The weekend, me and The weekend, we've, we're besties, okay? When I believe she believes that. When's the last time you drank alcohol? I actually have not drank since December 31st because I did drink on New Year's Eve and I haven't. You lying? I haven't drank since then. When would nope, she's straight up lied about that. I don't know when she drank, but she's straight up lying about it. Will you be ready for a relationship? Honestly, I don't know because I kind of like the single life. Of course, there is things that I miss about being in a relationship, but I like being able to be taken places whenever I want to at the drop of a hat. She's. She's in her deceptive zone, but I don't necessarily think she's lying. I honestly think it's just like, I'm missing those things with my ex. We don't have to get into like detail, but there are just like a lot of things that I miss with her specifically. Like her license and her car. What are your thoughts on sending nudes? So honestly, 
All right, so here's one of the parts that I wanted to get to after, you know, snark getting over here. She's getting, she got asked the question, what are your thoughts on sending nudes? Now, please rewind your brains. I know most of us don't have to very far, but she did say that she watched the Casey interview. Were that true, she would know Casey's accusations towards Amber of uh, Amber demanding nudes from Casey uh during their long distance relationship and variety of the reasons casey was uncomfortable with it but amber according to casey amber was insistent and used um blackmailing casey with the relationship in order to get the nudes um so this question because i'm not an idiot <laughs> Like, why would you ask someone this question otherwise? This question is a got you style question towards Amber about the accusations that Casey made. Okay? Amber is going to go on in true Amber fashion and just hand wave it. Okay? So this is where we get into the concept of both gaslighting and um audience manipulation through control of the narrative so amber is amber will not be saying casey's name amber will not be referring to the interview however amber is going to twist details and things in a way that is going to make her look like she is wise and altruistic and understanding about nudes um but at the same time is giggle giggle isn't it fun kind of a thing edgy girl so but it's we'll get to it as we get to it honestly that is something that um i low-key do but i only do it if i'm really connected with someone we're really into each other i trust them and they i trust them we're really connected have to like ask for it because i'm they have to ask for it I, I, sorry but unsolicited no but if unsolicited towards her not her sending unsolicited pictures so all of this is about her it's not about her sending pictures to someone else whether they wanted that or not it's about her it's about how the the nudes are affecting her not the other participant so this is where i'm like is she purposefully not is she purposefully going la, 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 or does she genuinely not understand that this was a question that this is a setup question and she's walking into it like full on if you two are vibing and they're like hey you want to send over like a a titty pic <laughs> you have to be really special because i don't just be sending those out to anybody like you have to she is taking this as she is the one sending her picture to the other person She's ignoring the fact that she has clearly in the past asked for those types of pictures from others to her. She has asked for her exes to send illicit pictures to her in, in her past. And, but for her, that doesn't compute. She doesn't remember it. She doesn't appear to recall that that happened. For her, she is the one who is always sending. She is the one who is always giving. And so all of the effects of nudes and the, the sending of nudes and the backlash of the nudes, that's, it doesn't matter what the other person might be going through or might, or the repercussions on the other person. It's only about how it will impact and affect Amber and her decisions to send her nudes to someone. Screw them. If she tells them she wants nudes, she better have had them yesterday to be a special girly pop okay but i don't see anything wrong with it like if two people are into each other go for it did it snow and this is why i'm like did you purposefully miss the point or are you really that i don't i don't honestly think she's that uh scatterbrained to have not caught caught that especially since you know she's pre-screened these there's she's already read these before so she picked, she picked that one to answer. 
on Oklahoma. Yes, it did. So the last question I'm gonna do is how do you feel about Becky talking about you again? So honestly, I find it a little weird only because she was the one who initially said, keep my name out your mouth or the law is gonna get involved. And then I think it was a few months later, I brought up the law just to remind her that that was initially what she wanted. It was okay, so again, going back to um, manipulating and gaslighting through controlling the narrative. Becky did admit that they were the one that brought up um, involving the law first, but that was several months, if not a year, before Amber brought it up a second time. Now, all of this occurred last year, year before last now. So all of this that she just recounted for us occurred a year ago at least, or close to a year ago at this point. However, Amber is the victim here. You had to hear that. You have to pay, pay attention to hear it. It's not like it's very hard. But Amber finds it strange that Becky's talking about her because she is the one that just gently reminded Becky about the fact that Becky was the one who brought up the law getting involved if they talked about each other. So Amber was just doing her civic duty in reminding Becky that they had agreed not to talk about each other, even though Amber has talked about Becky at damn near every opportunity she's been given, including this one. You know, whereas Becky has been up until a certain point, with very few exceptions, has been like, I don't want to talk about it. Don't ask me about it. I'm not going to talk about it. There's been, what, a handful of situations over the past two years now, two and a half years, where Becky has been like, yeah, I'm going to actually talk about things. The most recent one being the ninth, I believe it was. So this is Amber trying to paint herself as a victim, trying to gaslight the audience into thinking that she's not the one that instigated any of this, that Becky's the instigator here. It also allows her to set up, uh, set Becky up, basically. For down the road, when Becky does finally talk to Mr. Snowflake, uh, if, if it happens... she can pull another see becky's just trying to do a cash grab becky said they weren't going to talk about me and now look at them and they're just trying to get money and they're just using me for clout and yada 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 the same stuff she said when destiny did uh their little thing which destiny straight up admitted that's what they were doing so yeah, i can't even be mad at destiny <laughs> Destiny was like, yep, that, that's what's happening. All right, cool. I, you do you. You know, unlike with Casey coming forward and talking about Amber, where that one was, yes, Casey's the one that apparently reached out to Mr. Snowflake to do the interview. However, Casey's gone out of their way to not bring up Amber, if anything, trying to hide from Amber, or at least from Amber's shadow kind of a situation. And I feel a lot like... um. Becky's going to be a lot like Casey in that aspect where Becky's been trying to distance and avoid Amber, but it's just not going to happen, unfortunately. I can't imagine dating someone who, like, perpetually ruins my life every moment going forward. This is why you don't, this is why you don't date, like, famous or semi-famous people. It was my way of agreeing, but, like, now she's talking about me. I don't know. Share your story. Share your truth. Share what you think is your truth. I Share what you think is your truth. Yeah, yeah, Becky, sure, whatever. you, Whatever you think you're feeling or whatever you think you went through, that's just what you think. That's not the real truth. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say about it at this point because I'm just not really into this whole let's talk shit about our ex for money. I... The only ex I have never heard her talk shit about after they broke up is Crystal. And if she, ah, excuse me, if she has done it, I've not caught it, which doesn't mean it didn't happen. Every single other ex, including wifey, she's thrown a couple digs at wifey more than once. Not like bad one like she really went after becky like hard 
but she's thrown a couple soft swipes at, at wifey more than once here. And her channel's monetized. So to sit here and claim that she doesn't trash her exes for money is ridiculous. Whether the video itself is intended to be me trash talking my ex for money, the video, the fact that she does trash talk her exes in her videos and her videos are monetized means she is monetizing talking about her exes. And yet, that doesn't register for her because Amber cannot do wrong. I personally am not going to be doing it. I did go. As I just got done explaining, you've been doing it for years. Against my morals at the time when Destiny started saying all those things about me and I went on live stream and then started doing the same. I was in a very bad headspace at the time, but I'm not going to let that be an excuse because even if I was in a. You just used it as an excuse. Literally just use it as an excuse. Bad one now, I still wouldn't let myself come to that type of energy because I'm not going to do it. You can do whatever she wants and I'm not going to say a damn thing because I just wish her nothing but healing, happiness, health, success, all the good things. <laughs> a jump cut. Things in the world, but it is a little confusing because she was the one who initially brought up the law. <laughs> but it is confusing because she's the one that started it. I'm just the one who finished it. Okay, here's the thing. Neither of the two of them have a legal la leg to stand on. Becky can try taking Amber to court. Amber can try taking Becky to court. If assuming a court even hears the case and doesn't just throw it out, that neither of them can prove anything against each other because that's just the way our courts are set up. Does it suck? Yeah, kind of sometimes. But I mean... Well, I what would be the benefit of them going to court anyway other than to stand in a court and point fingers at each other and go you are the bowl liquor i mean it'd be funny to watch but what are the two of them going to get out of it okay guys so i have an amazon haul these things came overnight these are just clean dishes that i have to put away so don't mind that and i really hurt my finger this is this the missing package that was morally they were morally unable to deliver Snail almost came off. You guys, it hurt so bad when I was opening these boxes. Oh, anyway. gee, you poor boo-boo. You want me to go get you a bomb dead? Okay, so I got some slippers. I'll show you guys those out of the package in a minute. And I got some Legos. I did think this one was going to be bigger, but that's okay. It's New York City. I got some roller skates. And the newest one, which is the Bouquet of Roses, which if you guys know me, you guys know my favorite flower. It's not Legos. Oh, no, they're there. Lego. Huh is red roses with baby's breath and that's literally what this is Aww. so here are the slippers let's see if they fit they actually fit perfect and they're so cute i'm obsessed so now i'm going to add legos to my little collection here not Yay. this one though because i'm about to do this one yes i am y'all i'm not gonna lie to you the last two days has been so boring i have been wanting to go outside and walk but i can't because you're so where are my buttons? Yeah, Duper's Delight. There it is, right there. It's the thing where you lick your lips. She does that a lot in general, but like right after you lie and you Duper's Delight, and then you're <laughs> looking at the self in the viewfinder. Anyway, sorry. Can't because we are snow. <laughs> but I can't. I mean, I could, but... In. I have been able to take Twinkie to the uh, dog park, but that is like literally part of my apartment complex, which I prefer to walk her so we can get like exercise and stuff. So you could walk to the dog park and you could potentially play with the dog at the dog park. But... But you have a convenient excuse of it snowed, ergo you cannot walk in said snow because snow. So instead of doing anything, you've just sat around and been so bored, you guys. Sadly, I have not been able to do that. And I've been really, really itching to do the mile walk without Twinkie. I because... First off, you're lying. And secondly, what... At what point did Twinkie slow you down? <laughs> um, cool. I know the next couple of months is just going to be freezing cold. Like, I cannot imagine myself walking in 10 degree weather, 20 degree weather. Like, it's not going to happen. Once 
Well, I mean, you could. You probably won't even feel it, to be perfectly honest. The heavier I was, the less cold bothered me. I was... I went for my winter hike yesterday, and it was 17 degrees, and boy, I felt that. I forgot my gloves, and I was just like, this was dumb. It starts getting up, like, the 50s and 60s. That's, like, perfect walking weather, in my opinion. Uh-huh, because you're an expert on this. And I'm just like, I need that weather, because I want to walk so bad. Like, and go walk. Literally. <laughs> Face. The only thing stopping you from walking is you. She's acting like if she were to step outside, the snow itself would rise up and body block her back into her apartment. I'm willing to bet that there's been some kind of plowing of the sidewalk and or putting down of ice. Do I think she has really bad balance and is maybe scared of slipping and falling? Yes, I, I could believe that. Um, they make walking mobility devices for that called walkers. You could get one if that was really your biggest fear. And I mean, I recommend doing that if that's, if your goal is truly to walk no matter what, and you're afraid you're going to fall down because you're 500 pounds and it's slick outside, I would recommend getting a walker. You could even have Amazon deliver it. It, then you could go walk in slicker situations. It's not like you're going mountain hiking. It's not like you're going to go walk on a nature trail. You're just walking on the sidewalk. So you could do it. The only thing stopping her from walking is herself. And this is one of those ways where she desperately tries to manipulate the audience into going, oh, poor Amber. You know, she, she walked that mile. I'm still not convinced she did it. And... Now she wants us to believe that she's so fired up about the fact that she walked a mile, that she wants to walk a mile every day, you guys. But the snow came, and you can't walk in the snow. No one does that. You know? Kind of a situation. Or it's cold, you guys. I can't possibly go walk in the cold because the physical act of walking won't raise my core temperature enough that it probably will feel nice to be out in, in that kind of weather. No, Amber, no one's believing this. And no one should believe this. If you're somebody who's falling for this and you're like, yeah, but she can't go outside because of the snow. It's bullshit. She could totally go out in the snow if she wanted to. She clearly is taking the dog to the dog park. And I'm... I'm willing to bet the dog park isn't immediately outside her front door, so she's got to walk her some distance to get to the actual screened-in park area. Just keep going. Who is she? Like, I want to go walk a mile? Like, what? But yeah, like, a lot of people enjoy the snow, and I'm just not that girly. Like, I used to love the snow, but now I just feel trapped honestly because like i don't own a single pair of shoes that is like ice approved or snow approved so when i do so order a pair you have more than enough resources to order those things and have them delivered the next day by prime if you so chose that you could have yourself a pair of decent walking shoes that could handle ice and a walker and you would be fine, especially since you're like, I want to go for a walk without the dog. Okay, that's even better. You're, you're limited by your own ability to problem solve. That's really what this is. You're not limited by the weather. You're not limited by your lack of preparedness. You are limited by your lack of problem solving skills. That's all this is do go out there it's like it hurts <laughs> my me. feet oh my god it's just hard to find shoes that like work for me anyway work for me you know shoes those things that we've been making for thousands of years i can't find a single pair that work for me well i mean i guess you could just wrap like a plastic bag around your foot anyways i hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog and i'll see you next no you don't this one bye just Okay, so, things I wanted to talk about, and I think I got to them. Um, this particular video has got some real hardcore course correcting in it. Um, starting off with the, actually with the video prior to this, and the whole like, I'm so off track, you guys. Next time I weigh myself, I'm going to be 
So my next way in is going to be so disappointing. And then we open with, oh my God, you guys, this is the way in that, that's going to be so disappointing. And then, and of course, it's not disappointing. I didn't gain as much weight as I thought I was going to have gained. Yay. So that starts the video off. Then we get to the nudes question where she, I think, I think she is truly unironically un answering this question about sending and or receiving nudes and completely missing the connection between that question and um, Casey's accusations against her and still manages to twist the question around so that it is Amber who would have who would be the victim in this situation It's Amber who will only send nudes if she feels a connection she she's the only one who would send she would not receive she likes to send the nudes she doesn't ask for them she likes to send them and only if she felt connected with the person and only if she like trusted the person which to be fair if you're gonna send nudes to people a be of age and b um don't send it to people you get a skeevy feeling about because that shit will bite you in the ass um but you know <laughs> it's the weird random times where she actually manages to give good advice that throw me off because it's like no, she's actually right, but it's still Amber. <laughs> so we go from that question into Becky and how Becky's the one that's starting the fight and Becky's the one that's keeping the fight going and Becky's the one that keeps bringing things up and Amber would never trash talk her exes, you guys, and she especially wouldn't trash talk them for money, which is all that's going to be this. That's all that's going to be. Becky's just trying to trash talk Amber for money. Maybe she is. Maybe she is. It's YouTube. And again, Amber's been trash talking her exes for 10 years. Uh, and I don't know how many of those 10 years she's been monetized, but any of those years where she has been monetized, she's trash talked her exes for money. So you have no legs to stand on, Miss Lynn. But those are the the real the three most noticeable ones where she's trying to like oh that in the snow i can't possibly go outside you guys there's snow on the ground i don't own the right shoes there aren't any shoes that work for me so we've she's been trying to completely manipulate the story of this video from the word go basically um, manipulating her, her, trying to manipulate the audience's perception of her way in, um, trying to manipulate the audience's perception of her perception of nudes and how she would never ask someone for nudes unless they were connected. And she wouldn't, she, she doesn't even mention how she would ask. She only talks about how she would send, thereby implying that she wouldn't be the one asking. Then picking a fight with Becky over trash talking each other when Amber more more than does that to Becky and like literally there's a joke that runs around in girl world about how it's all Becky's fault whatever it is that happens to Amber doesn't matter what it is or how long it's been since the two of them have been broken up whatever it is it's Becky's fault every time Amber gains weight it's Becky's fault every time Amber falls off the wagon it's Be it's Becky's fault they haven't talked to each other in like two years still Becky's fault somehow and then wrapping up the narrative with the whole thing like she can't walk she wants to walk you guys she wants to be a fitness queen she wants to put on glitter and lasers worn once cast off tennis shoes and walk a mile daily in those shoes that's how much of a fitness queen amber wants to be um but she can't because there's snow and it's cold so it's not her fault also she doesn't have those worn once and then thrown away shoes from glitter and lasers she she doesn't have a pair of shoes that work for her so this is just amber really hard in this video concocting and reinforcing a narrative and then also setting up down the road other narratives like the whole becky thing is going to become a thing it's coming up it's eventually going to happen she's an idiot if she doesn't think that I think she's trying to do some damage control early so that when it does happen, she can step in and, in her mind, nip it in the bud 
it's not going to happen that way for her. But Amber is also the queen of just ignoring shit if it doesn't work for her. She just ignores it until it goes away or until people stop asking her about it. So, all right. If you have made it this far in the video, go ahead and leave a pair of shoes down in the comments section. Make sure they are the right shoes. We wouldn't want to wear the wrong shoes. And so there's your emoji. Leave a pair of shoes down in the comments section. Let me know what you guys think so far about the video. And I already drugged this one out pretty far. So I'll see everybody in the next one. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my members. Thank you to everybody who's going to hit the thumbs up. Bing, bing. And I will see everybody in the next one. Bye!